In the last videos, we looked at the relationship, given by the Clark transformation. There is also a clear relationship, between the variables of the reference frame alpha beta, and those of the dq reference frame. The transformation of the real and imaginary components, in the reference frame alpha beta, into their counterparts in the rotating reference frame, dq, is achieved by the part transformation, which leads to the current and voltage relationships, in the two reference frames, where theta e, is the angle between the two reference frames, and also the electrical angle of the rotor. Conversely, the inverse part transformation can also be defined. What is amazing about the mathematical model in the DQ reference frame, is that the current and voltage quantities, are no longer sinusoidal signals, but direct current signals. In other words, when designing a control system in the next videos, the reference signals for the closed loop, can be constants or step signals, which is why, PI controllers are very common for this class of systems. Here for more training, the whole Simulink simulation block diagram, for the shown reference frame transformations. This, is a phase to V DQ block transformation, of the three phase ABC variables, into DQ variables in the stationary reference frame. This, is a stationary to sync block transformation, of the stationary reference frame, into the rotating reference frame. And there is the simulation results. One notices that in the DQ reference frame, voltage variables are no longer sinusoidal signals, instead, they are DC signals. The animation illustrates the Clark Park transformation with a rotating vector arrow, decomposed three and two phased vectors and a scope view of the corresponding sine waves.